Hi there, welcome. My name is Kelly and I'm in Spain in Costa Brava, a beachside town called Lorette de Mar. Today's program that I'm going to do for you is it's a fun, fun workout. We're going to start off warming up. The second thing we're going to do is do the nine move ab, ab set. And then we'll move on and get some resistance training work done with a resistance tube. So if you've got a resistance tube, go and grab it, get a mat, and let's work out. And I'm barefoot too. All right, so let's get started. All right, here we go. Let me set my timer. Timer is set for... Okay, first thing is squats. So begin with your feet hip width apart and squat. You can do a little bicep curl right there. Beginning to warm up, warming up the lower body, gradually increasing the heart rate. Let's grab a knee right here and then squat. Knee grab and then squat. Good. Bring the knee up and squat. Bring the knee up and squat. Now let's do a reverse lunge right here. So step back. Sweep your arms forward like you're doing a frontal raise. Step back, your, knee, your foot in the front. Watch that knee over your ankle. Right there, a little harder sometimes whenever you're barefooted. <laughs> Reach, sweep up, and lunge rear. And then the third move Warming up the legs, lower body, adding some arms, side lunge, reaching out, heart rate increasing, lunge and reach, lunge and reach. Keep your chin up, looking forward. Super fun program, great to warm up before going into it. All right, so now let's take it down to the mat. Right here, lizard with rotation. Hand on the mat, reach up and draw the arm underneath. Reach up, bring the arm underneath so you're reaching and fill the shoulder and then rotating at the trunk. This is a good mobility warm up. Reach up, bring it down and under. Reach up and bring it under. One more time. Now let's change sides, but give yourself a quick hamstring stretch right there. Change, opposite leg forward, hand down, reach up, and bring the arm through behind the other arm. Reach up, bring it under, press into your hands, your fingers specifically, <laughs> reach up. It's a little humid here today, but about 75, 80 degrees. Clear sky for the most part. All right, so now let's take it down to the mat all the way. You can put your arms like this and bend your right leg and you're just gonna lift the right heel towards the sky, pressing the opposite foot into the floor, right? And then also you wanna reach your hip towards the mat right there. You'll feel the difference in the glute when you press your hip down towards the mat. Keep lifting up your heel towards the sky. All right, let's change sides. So this is our alternate move to doing Superman to engage the glute. Turn on all those glute fibers. So before we work out, reach up and then keep that moving, lift, reach. You can look at your hands or look at the mat. Keep lifting, lift, heel towards the sky. Lift right up, straight up. Excellent work. And now taking it into our full plank right here. Separate your feet and lift up to downward facing dog. When you go to downward dog, look behind. Just full plank, look between your fingers and then lift up downward dog. Shift forward, press into the hands, lift up, downward facing dog. Do that again, shift, full plank, and then lift up, downward facing dog. Excellent. And now let's stand up, four moves, boxer shuffle first, right here. Shuffle your heels side to side, 
pump your arms right there. Shake it off. First, first move of four. Four moves are each one gradually adding a little more intensity. Pump the arms, keep moving. Now take it to a jump rope right there. We'll move over, turn your rope, engaging the arms, shoulders, biceps. Keep that road turning. A little hop on the balls of your feet. Fun, fun to change it up and work out barefooted too. Kind of adds a little different intensity to it. Your feet work harder for sure. Three, and the ankles. Two, one. Jumping jack. Bring the arms to the side. Just hop out, press your heels down, land lightly, very important. And then reach up overhead, all the way, reach, big move up. All right, reaching the arms up. Hop out and in, you got it. Keep moving. One more move, coming up. Three, two, and one. Here's your high knee run, pump the arms. You're doing awesome. Come on. Keep going. Power through. You got it. Keep going. Come on. Pump. Lift, your, lift those knees straight up. Slight lean back. Keep going. Run it out. Three, two, and one. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Get some water. So while you're getting water, I'm going to walk around, check out your space. You need a mat. We're going to start off with our core training. Then I'm going to use a resistance band that I brought with me on vacation because it takes some no space in my luggage. You could alternately use a heavy set of dumbbells. So think, if you're using dumbbells, do 10 to 15 pounds. Maybe you change weights if it's too much, or increase your weight if it's too little. Take a sip of water. All right, let's get to it. Here's my list. So here we go. We have nine moves. Each move we're gonna do two times, and the moves are 30 seconds in length. So we've got my handy Tabata timer right here. T1. Ready to go. Two moves. Okay, so we got 10 seconds to move into position. So lie back on your mat all the way. Actually, don't do that yet. <laughs> Sit up, grab your legs, shoulders rolled back, and you're just gonna round your back over. And then you're gonna lean back, keep your feet on the floor, reach the arms beside your ears. Pulse, three, two, one. Reach behind the hamstrings, pull your body forward and then lean back, flat back, and reach three, two, one. Do that again. So the key thing here is to keep your feet on the mat. Lean back, crunch, crunch, crunch. So this is working your transverse abdominus muscles and your rectus abdominus muscles. All right, put your feet together and lean in. Just a brief stretch. Second round right here. So reach this time and pulse three, two, one, hands behind the hamstrings, round your shoulders forward, lean back, reach up, pulse three, two, one. Do it again, hands behind the thighs, roll your shoulders forward, lean back, reach three, two, one. Hands behind the thighs, lean forward, lean back. Here we go, three, two, and one. Do it one more time, lean back, three, two, and one. All right, so now come over to your forearms. Forearm plank right here, legs out, straight right here. I want you to rock your body forward so your heels are over the balls of your feet or your toes, and then rock back. Do that again. So rock forward and rock back. Now get into a rhythm, forward and back, forward and back. Press into your hands but look between your thumbs, don't drop the head. Keep moving, rock forward and rock back. Reach, you got it. Keep going, breathe. 
set your knees down, walk your hands back, or bring your hips back, child's pose. Bring it up, right here, forearm plank, legs up, shift forward and shift back, forward and back, nicely done, forward and back. Press into your hands, look between your thumbs, you got it, don't lift your hips high, but there's a slight talk, talk of the pelvis. Keep moving. You got it. Next up, we're going to lie on the mat. Set your knees down. Child's pose. I'm going to do a quick check just to make sure we're on. Yes. All right, we're on. No time loss. Here we go. Lie down. Legs out. So right hand behind the back and left foot flat, lift, lower, lift. So the hand behind the back, there's your pressure sensor, chin off your chest, press the opposite heel down, lift, elbow behind your head, or hand behind the head, elbow out of the peripheral vision, lift up, lower, lift. One more. Now let's change sides, hand behind your back. Opposite hand behind your head, elbow out. Look up at the sky, especially if you're able to be outside. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Lift and lower. Keep that pace. Press your heel down, lift up and lower, lift and lower, up. Excellent. Let's do it again. So place your right foot on the floor, extend the left leg out straight, hand, left hand behind the head, right hand behind your lower back. Okay, got that? So lift up. So the side where my hand is under my back, the knee is pointing up or bent, and I'm pressing into my left heel. Now this time I want you to pulse, 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 lift, lift, straight up, chin off your chest, lift. Keep moving, elbow back, don't pull on your head, lift up, lift, lift. Excellent, change sides. Hand behind the back, right hand behind head, Left knee bent, press into the right heel, lift up and down, up and down. So keep this slow and controlled first. Chin off your chest, check everything out. Heel on the floor, or pressing the heel down. Now pulse, 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 up, up, lift. Elbow back, lift up. Chin off your chest, don't pull on your head. Lift up, lift, lift. You got it. This is the fourth move, you guys, or third. All right, flip it over, flip. Full plank. So hands on the mat, legs up, straight legs, press into your, your hands, balls of the feet underneath your heels. So shift forward right there, widen your feet, and then reach the Right arm forward and set it down. <laughs> Left arm forward, set it down. Super hard, right? So don't lift your hips high when you do that and keep your hips level. Right and then left. Do it again. Right and then left. Right and left. Set it down, knees down. Ready, child's pose. We'll do that one more time. Come up. Legs out. This time, let's tap the shoulders right here. So widen your feet, that helps keep your hips level. Right here, right, and then left. Keep your hips parallel to each other. Hand down, tap the other shoulder. Now go quicker, quick, quick, quick. Quick movement, but keep your hips where they are. Don't lift them high. Keep moving, you got it. Come on, one more. Knees down, child's pose. 
Excellent. Now flip over, bicycle. So lower down on the mat all the way, hands behind the head, touch, touch, legs out, reach across, elbow to knee, right there. Ch, ch, ch. You got it. Ch, ch. Excellent, elbow to knee, right there. Ch. Across, you got it. Ch. Breathe. Excellent. Relax. For a brief moment. All right, bring it up. Here we go. Touch, touch, elbow to knee. Reach across. Bring that shoulder over right there, across. Keep up with this pace, elbow to knee, touch, 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 elbow to knee, three, two, and then one. Excellent. Roll up, flip over. <laughs> All right. What is up next? Oh, side plank, side plank, right here. So on the side, like this. So turn your forearm wherever it feels most comfortable. Put your palm down, or you can make a fist like this and reach up. So this is propped up using your kickstand or full side plank. Press into the edge of your feet. Reach up and over your ear, building strength, keeping stamina, stamina, <laughs> and then breathe. Reach, set your hip down. We're gonna do that again. Reach over. Form on the mat. Right here. So hold, leg propped underneath if you need to. Hand on the floor, reach up. Or full plank, side plank. Grab your underneath side and pull like that and reach. So you keep your body straight. Right there, it's important. Look up at the sky, reach the arm over the ear, baby. Reach up, excellent. Reach over the ear, nice. Reach, lower it, lower your hip, and now let's flip over, other side. Right here, so on your forearm, prop up, right here. Hand on the hip, reach up, and then over the, over the head. Reach the arms straight, palm facing down, then reach up, palm facing forward. Maybe full side plank, lift. Lift those hips, reach up and over, reach up. Do it again, reach, and then reach up. Excellent, reach, and then reach up. Press into the sides of your feet, reach. Excellent, set it down. Stretch. Here we go. Reach. One leg under is fine. Just keep your stability, keep stable. Grab the side and pull like that. So rotating so your body is straight, reach up and bring the arm over the ear. Palm flat or make a fist. Reach up and then up to the sky and then over the ear. Reach up and then over the ear. Keep it going. Reach up and over the ear. Do it again. Excellent. Brief stretch. All right, next move. Ha ha, push-ups. We're gonna do it. So let's do four and rest and do four more. Ready, go. Push-ups, super good move for the entire body. Squeeze the thighs. Lift up, elbows pointing rear, not out to the side. Lift up, separate your feet, do it again. Take a brief rest. Let's do four more real quick. Four, three, two, one more. Rest, 
right there. One more round, 30 seconds of push-ups. If you need to take a rest between four or six, do that. Keep your form, press. Do it again. Position your hands underneath the elbows when you go lower down and then lift up. Excellent, spread your fingers, squeeze your thighs. Hard work, you guys. Come on, dig deep. Knees down. And you did it. Nice work. Get some water. Get some water. Right here. Okay, so grab a band. All right, guys. Let's, let's get our resistance training done with a resistance band. So it's gonna be hit type workout. We're gonna do the work part for a specific amount of seconds and then we'll do a rest. The rest will be a little bit less than the work part. So the first part, we're gonna do a quick go um, run through the six moves on fifth for 15 seconds. So each move 15 seconds and then we'll move up. We'll increase the time to 30 seconds. And then we'll do the last the last round for one minute. So you can always replay back um, the specific part that you want to do, or if you want to double up your workout, do it twice. All right. So we'll just do three rounds. So first thing, you're gonna put the band underneath your foot, right there. And if you have dumbbells, you can use 10 to 15 pound dumbbells, two one in each hand. So and hold the weights right at your hips, shoulders back. So you'll step back, right foot forward first, left leg back. And so the move looks like this, and I'll show you first and then I'll set the timer. So lower down and then lift up, and you'll hold the resistance like this. And if it's too easy, just choke up on it, right? So reach down further and pull so you feel that resistance, right? Lowering down and up like that is not what I want you to do. I want you to lower down and then push back. So then you're engaging the glute and the hamstring. All right, so lower again and then lift. All right, so let's start the timer. Again, the first round is a quick 15 seconds. So I'm listening to the timer on my, my ear, AirPod. So I'll, in three seconds, let's begin. So lower down and then lift up. And you can bring the knee all the way down. Just carefully hover the knee over the floor. Push the floor away. I've got the strap or the band underneath the ball, the arch of my foot. All right. You can use weights too. All right, change sides. Opposite foot, right underneath the arch of your foot. Step back. Lean back just a little bit. So lower down and then push the floor away and lean back. Hold that strap tight if you've got a strap resistance tube. Resistance tube or if you have heavy weights. Excellent, good. All right, so now lat pulls. So you'll separate your feet like this right here. Choke up on the line right here and pull the elbows up to your sides. Abs contracted, press into your feet. So from the side, looks like this. So just 15 seconds. Excellent, let it go, right? Super easy, 15 seconds anyway. All right, so now same foot position, hold, and you're just gonna squat down. And you're this, the first set of squats, I want you to have your feet underneath your hips, so not too wide. Lower and lift. Sink your glutes back, weight back, excellent. Now overhead press, we're gonna do one arm at a time. So place the tube underneath your, or the strap, the resistance band underneath your foot and you're just gonna lift up and down, reach up and down. So palm facing forward or facing in, a little harder, press up. Good, chain sides. So about the same place, right? So you're gonna just grab it with your hand Get a good grip and lift up. 
I'm not bringing it across the head, over the head. I'm lifting straight up, palm facing forward. I'm just placing my hand on my hip right here. My right foot, the opposite foot, firmly pressing down. Excellent. All right, wide squats. So this is a little harder because your feet are wide or apart like this, right? And you just hold. I'm gonna hold a bicep curl right there. Sink the hips back. Knees go the same direction as the toes. Sink back, weight in your heels. Keep that going. Do it again. One more time. Excellent. Pull aparts, final move. So reach forward. So you'll squat down like this and pull the strap apart like that. So we're holding a static squat, weight back, press your toes down, pull apart the band right there in front of the chest. Do it one more time. Excellent, super good. Let's do round number two. Number two. So I'll increase the time on my Tabata timer to 30. Right there, done. And now 10 seconds between each move. So not much time. So much harder, place it under your foot, right foot, remember this? So it's really a split squat or a static lunge. All right, so hold, choke up on it and you're just press back. Push the foot into the floor and the front into that strap, unless you have weights. So push back slightly, engaging the hamstrings and the glutes. Down and push back. Do it again, down, push back. Excellent, keep that going. So longer period of time, much harder. Heart rate higher, excellent. Chain sides. So just 10 seconds between, step back, right there, shoulders back. Lower the knee toward the floor and lift up or push back right there. Push back, push, watch the knee. It should go the same direction as your toes. Toes should be pointing forward. Bring it back or push back, push in three, two, and one. Excellent. Lap pull. So underneath one foot or two, I prefer to do two like that. Abs contracted, elbows to their sides. Pull the elbows straight up, lift, abs in. So again, from the side, looks like this. Good, so elbows come up, working the lats by keeping your elbows drawn in. Look forward or look just slightly down but don't drop the head right there. Keep going, excellent, and stand up. Whew. All right, overhead press, no squats. So upper body, lower body. So a little peripheral heart action training here. So feet under hips, shoulders back, hold this. So you're kind of pulling on this a bit. If you have a really long band, you can bring it back here so then it's more like a back squat. Holding those weights or the band at the sides. It's a little more like a front squat here. Back squat, sink back. Heels towards your glutes. Lift up. You got it. Do it one more time. Excellent. Now, my favorite one, overhead press. <laughs> You'll have to tell me what your favorite is. Okay, especially if you use a, a strap. So now you can lean over just a little bit. It's a little core work right there. Reach, palm facing forward, over, right there. Come on, up, reach up and over. You got it. About 10 more seconds and you're there. Lift, down, lift and down. Reach up, one more, bring it down. Excellent, let's do the other side. So step on it, solid anchor, hand right here, foot placed, reach up and over. Change your grip if you need to. 
Don't just stay or hold it if it's uncomfortable. Reach. If you have one dumbbell, or if you're doing dumbbells, you'll lift one right here, but not lift it over the head, just straight up. One arm overhead press right here. Lift up and down, up. You got it. <laughs> Everybody smile. There you go, up. One more. All right. Wide squat. So wide squat right here. A little bit wider. Hold right here. Sink your weight back. Weight in your heels. I'm on a slight um, slope right here. So I'm managing though. Lean my weight back. Abs in. Press your feet down. Lift up. Down. Knees go the same direction as the toes. Sink down and then up. Down and then lift. Do it again. One more time, and that's it. You're out of there. All right, pull apart with a squat hold. Okay, I'm gonna turn to the side right here so you can see feet about hip width right here. Pull it apart, abs in. So we're holding, doing upper body and lower body. Try not to bend your wrists. Look at your wrists, they should be straight or as straight as you can keep them. You got it, abs in. Super good. Pull apart. Do it again. Reach to the sides. Hold that squat. Three, two, and one. And you're out of there. Excellent. Get some water. Got a little bit of juice left. Water. <laughs> okay. Let's increase the time. We're going to double it. Going up to 60. And then we'll be done and I'll stretch with you. So 60 seconds. So think your mind, get your mind wrapped around. We're gonna go for longer, one minute time. And it's gonna be harder. You'll fill your muscles more. So let's do it. We are gonna rest for 20 seconds though between. So 20 seconds between. Still not a whole lot of time to rest. And they, this, that's what makes this a high intensity interval training workout is longer work periods, smaller or shorter rest periods. All righty, here we go. So this is called on the minute. So 60 seconds, one foot forward, choke down, get a really good grip, feel that resistance, lower and push back, lower, push back, rather than going straight up and down. Lift up, you're pressing into the foot in the front, the toes, lift, do it again. Excellent, lift, push back, lift, hold, choke up, make it harder. You're only here for one minute. All right, so you're halfway through right here. You've got 30 more seconds to go. You're doing awesome. Keep moving, you got it, go. Do it again. Really feeling this. We got 20 more seconds to go. Counting it down. Push that, push away. Lean back. Push back. 10 more seconds. Push back. Do it again. Push back. Two more times. You can do it one more time. And then you're out of there. Excellent. Shake it off. All right. So let's do the other side. So you got 20 seconds. Drink some water, strap, get it even. Great thing about these ribbon resistance tubes is that you can do it barefooted. It doesn't hurt the bottom of your foot. So great for taking on vacation. Doesn't take up any room in the suitcase. You can put it, throw it in your cosmetics bag. <laughs> in fact, abs in lift hold that weight or hold the resistance right there down push back down and push back you got it look forward push back down push back excellent down push back you got it heart rate going up just a bit sweating <laughs> just a bit right down all right, you got 15 more seconds. 
you're almost done with this. And then we're moving on to upper body lat pulls. You can do it. Nicely done. All right, shake it off. We got 20, sec 20 seconds, lat pulls. So here, place one foot right here, like that, right? Or if your lower back, you're feeling strong and you're comfortable, choke up on it right here. Get that resistance in there or create your resistance. Sink your hips back just a bit, right? Look forward. Don't let your chest just drop in. I want you to have integrity in the body by bracing right here. Abs contracted. You're doing great. So we're 20 seconds in right there. Lift up. Let's pulse it. Go three, two, one, and down. Do it. Three, two, one, and down. Do it again. Three, two, one, down. Three, two, one, right here. All right, so now 20 more seconds. Let's do an alternate row, right, and then left, right, left, abs in, right, 10 more seconds. You got it, come on. Press your toes down, lift, row, four, three, whoops, two, and one. Ha, oh, it broke, blooper. Let's make do. All right, overhead press, or no, squats, squats. So for these squats, because I shortened my resistance, seek your weights back, or your glutes back. Hold your weights in your hands, or on your shoulders. Down, and then up. You got it. Down, and up. Squat, and lift. Down, and then up. So guys, we have three more, more moves after this. Sink your weight back into your hips. Weight in your heels, press your toes down, down and then up, down and up. You got it, 30 more seconds. So let's go down three and one up. Three, two, one, and lift. Do it again. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, lift up. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, lift up. Three, two, one, push to the top. Three, two, one, do it one more time. Three, two, one, and you're done. Upper body. So alternating upper, lower body moves, peripheral heart action training. Here's your overhead press. So right here, all right, so stand. The good thing about these, these ribbons, they're really, really inexpensive. So, convenient for traveling and super, super, super cheap. Lift, they come in different and a variety of resistance strengths. Lift up, stretch, we got this. So you're 20 seconds in. I know, right? Super hard whenever it's a longer period of time, but we can do it. If you have really heavy weight, I would suggest pyramiding down if you're losing your, your the integrity of the move or your control. Here we go. 20 more seconds. You got it. Come on, reach up, lift and down. Palm facing forward, you got it. 15 more seconds, lift. Come on, up. Do it again, lift. Again, reach, lift, five, four, three, two, do one more, and you're done. Oh, open and close your hand if you had that. Shake it off, you got it. You're strong, stronger than you think you are. All right, so it's okay to be uncomfortable, to build strength, that's how you build strength. Press your toes down, bring that band behind your shoulder, and then reach up, and it's a slight across right there. Lift. Right there, up and over. Hand at the opposite hip, press into your foot. Right there, you got it. Soften your knees, okay? Because if you lock your knees, it's not good. So lift up, softening the knees, standing tall, reach up, slightly reach over. 
heart rate going up. We've got, we're halfway in, 30 seconds to go. You got it, come on, up, down, lift, down, up, down, lift, and down. Reach up, you got it, lift, reach. And we've got 15 more seconds, keep going, soften the knees, reach, here's where you make the difference. Right there, feel the work. Heart rate climbing, come on. Lift, you got it. Do it again, up, and you're done. Whew, this is super hard. Okay, shake it off, shake it off. Wide squat. So feet, like that, wide. Hold the, hold the band, and then we're gonna sink down, sink back. You can even turn your toes out slightly, but make sure your knees go the same direction as your toes. Right there, down, and then up. So I just turn my hands in different positions. So think about that. Hands back, make sure you're sinking your hips back and lowering down, or palms forward, holding that little slight bicep contraction as you squat back, down, and up. We're 30 seconds in, guys. Let's do it. Come on, sink down, and then up. You got it, down, up, watch your knees. Stay focused on your body the whole time, the entire time, okay? You can do it. Down and up, down, up, down, up, down. Five more seconds. You got it, three, two, and one. Excellent, last move, you guys. Super fun, right? <laughs> I'm sweating. All right, right here. Clouds moved over, sun's coming out. So squat down and then pull apart. So I'm gonna hold it like this. So allow, squat down, pull apart, pull apart, abs in. You can do it, come on, weight back. Don't let your knees dip in. Right there, abs in. You're 20 seconds in, let's change the feet position, but keep the arms going, keep the arms going. Turn your toes out. Wide squat, right there. Press your knees out. Reach, 30 seconds in. You got 30 to go, right there. Come on, pull apart, keep your wrists straight. Right there, so knuckles forward, knuckles face out. Right there, 15 more seconds. I know you're feeling it. Come on, out, in, knees out. Five, four, three, two, one. So good, so good, you did it. Now you've done your resistance training. Get that out of the way and reach up and stretch overhead. Let's bring the Right hand behind the head, hand behind. Give yourself a pat on the back for doing this workout with me. Hand at the elbow. Don't pull apart or pull across. Just right there. Heart rate recovering. Reach up as we stretch. So now bring the right arm across the body. Shoulder back. Look forward and breathe. So deep inhales, full exhales. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, reach up. Left hand behind the head. Give yourself a pat on the back. Thank yourself for doing this workout. Hand at the elbow and hold. Change your stance. Abs in, pull the shoulder back. Breathe. And then reach up and bring it across. There you go. Nicely done. We have finished our workout, our summertime. Workout, barefooted and with a resistance band. All right, so you'll have to send me any questions that you have. Reach up, stretch overhead. Now let's bring the right knee up. Let's, here we go, right knee up, rotate your foot. Send me any questions you have about where to buy those resistance tubes or bands and, and let me know what you think. <laughs> All right, so now place ankle on knee, sink your hip back, 
figure four, our standing pigeon pose. Right there, breathe. Little challenge, balancing without shoes, a little harder. Good for the body, good for the ner nervous system. <laughs> to practice balancing all the time, just as important as strength. Now lift up, let's chain sides. All right, so left, rotate. Rotate the other way. All right, place the ankle on the knee, sink back, weight in the heel. Back there, or actually the entire foot, but shift, lower your glute towards the heel. This hand right here, press down, grab your ankle, relax your shoulders, abs in, breathe, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, final stretch. Bring one foot forward, one leg back, and shift your hips like that, right? So lizard with rotation, eight times. Reach up and bring it underneath. Slow and controlled. Reach up, feel your shoulder stretch, and then rotate, feel the sides. I want you also to be stretching the flexors right there on that left side. Reach with the right leg forward. Under, let's call that five, six, seven, eight. Flex your foot, press your heel down, right there, hamstring stretch. Try not to sit on your heel back there. Point your toes up, look forward, lift your heart, flat back. Lower your chest, walk your hands towards the foot. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift up, chain sides, right here, okay? So opposite foot forward, hand on the mat, reach up. Eight, seven, six, press your hips forward, five, don't forget that, four, Three, two, one more. All right there, hold, and then shift back, flex your foot. Hamstring stretch, draw the hip under, last stretch. And eight, lift your heart, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Put your foot down, step forward, inhale, reach up. Thank you so much for joining me. You did a great job. Have a great one. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.